Mrs. Jones, 63, is hospitalized for an angina that has been unstable for two days. She has a coronary angiography scheduled for the next day. Her medical history includes HBP and hypercholesterolemia. She quit smoking six months ago. It is 8 p.m. and the nurse enters the user's room to remove the nitroglycerin patch. She notices that Mrs. Jones is quite pale and her face seems tense. Hi, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm so glad to see you. I was just about to call someone. I, I, I just got back from the bathroom and I don't feel good. I have pain in my okay. chest. I'm really scared. Let, let's get you in the chair then. Come. Let's okay. sit down. Okay, here we go. Okay. Are you comfortable? Episodes of retrosternal pain are frequently accompanied by anxiety and feelings of impending death. The nurse's presence must be reassuring so that the user feels safe and cared for. The nurse begins her data collection by taking basic signs to obtain initial hemodynamic data. Okay, so you told me the pain started when you came back from the bathroom, correct? Yeah, I, I had a bowel movement and I had to push a bit. And then after that, the pain started. It started to hurt. Okay. And did you try something to lessen the pain? Well, I started to stand on the edge of my bed, but sit on the edge of my bed, but it didn't help. Okay. And uh, can you describe the pain for me? Uh, How does it feel? It's like tightness here between my breasts. Okay. And is it spreading elsewhere? Uh, I don't know. Maybe your jaw, your left arm. You know, now that you mention it, uh, there's some discomfort in my jaw and my left arm feels a bit numb. Okay, and uh, let's take your vital signs. So, on a scale of, of 0 to 10, where would you rate your pain? Uh, I'd say yes, about a 4. Okay. Yeah. Okay, a 4, thank you. Uh, so, oh. we, there it is, sorry. Yes, I will need your index this is finger. scary. We go. You're comfortable. The nurse starts gathering information about the main discomfort by using the acronym PQRSTU. The nurse must know the clinical signs of retrosternal pain to be able to make a complete assessment of the problem. Sometimes the user may not be able to identify or describe her symptoms accurately. The nurse can then ask more specific questions by suggesting different terms or by naming the specific signs and symptoms that may be caused by the retrosternal pain. Okay, that's it. Um, okay, you seem to be sweating a bit. Are you in any other discomfort? You, have... you know, I, I f I'm really tired. Okay. I feel so tired. Mm -hmm. And how long have you had this pain? Well, you know, since I, maybe since I got came back from the bathroom. Okay. That's maybe 10, 15 minutes. Okay. The nurse must thoroughly list and describe the basic parameters and the data collected on the main discomfort in her progress notes. So is it your first time experiencing this type of pain? Well, it's, no, it's a lot like the pain that I had when I came to the ER. Okay. Okay, let me just go check your file real quick and I'll be, I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Just stay there. It is essential to ensure that a valid medical prescription is on file and that the administration of the medication is done according to the seven rights of use. Okay. So, I will give you a shot of nitroglycerin, a dose of nitro to help you ease the pain, okay? Okay. So, there we go. So have you had that medication before? Have you been given nitro before? Yeah, that's what they gave me in the ER, okay. I think. Okay. The nurse first sprays the medication in the air to activate the device and make sure that the subsequent spray will contain the proper dosage. So can you state your name and date of birth, please? Uh, my name is Rachel Jones, January 6th, 1958. Okay, can you open your mouth and lift your tongue up, please? <sighs> Double-checking the user's identity ensures that safety principles are followed when administering medication. That's 
So, we will wait five minutes for the medication to start working. I'm staying here with you. Oh, okay. Yes, and that then re we'll... That reassures me. I I'm really scared. Oh, it's understandable. This is scary. Mm -hmm. We'll retake your vital signs in five minutes. Okay. Okay, you can relax. Yeah, okay. Nitroglycerin is administered sublingually oh, sorry, under the relax. tongue. The nurse okay. writes down the time of administration of the first dose. Nitroglycerin causes blood pressure and tachycardia as side effects. It is therefore normal to observe a decrease in blood pressure following administration. These side effects justify verifying the user's blood pressure five minutes after administration. The nurse remains at the user's bedside during this time to provide close monitoring and a reassuring presence. Okay, the five minutes are up, so we'll retake your vital signs. Okay. Let me just... Okay. This is good. So, yes, thank you. Okay, so how would you rate the pain now, from, from zero to 10? Uh, it feels a bit better. I'd say maybe maybe a two. Okay, so we're on the right track. Uh, yeah, but, oh. Okay, uh, well, in order to completely relieve you of the pain, I'm gonna give you another dose. Okay. Again, and we'll retake your vital signs in five minutes. Okay. Okay, so you can lift your tongue up again. Very good, thank you. Close monitoring of the basic parameters is essential when administering nitroglycerin in order to detect any adverse side effects. The nurse must use her critical judgment to be certain of the user's hemodynamic stability should subsequent sprays be necessary. The purpose of administering nitroglycerin is to provide complete relief of retrosternal pain. The nurse will then administer subsequent doses of nitroglycerin until the pain is completely gone without exceeding three doses in 15 minutes. Okay, the five minutes are up. So, one last time here. So how's the pain now? Oh, it feels a lot better. It's, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's So from, all, from zero to 10? Uh, it, it's, all, it's all gone. Wow. Oh, uh, great. Ooh. Yes, you do seem. Yeah. If the pain has not completely subsided after the second dose, a third dose may be administered as medically prescribed. In the event that the pain is still present after three doses, the nurse must contact the doctor to discuss the situation. Okay, so we can get you into bed now, I think. Let's remove these. This is good. Oh. There you go. You're doing great. Thank you. Okay, let me help you. Let's get you into bed. So it's completely normal to experience some dizziness or headaches. Yeah. These are normal side effects. Okay. If the pain does come back, you have the call button right there. This so you here? Just, yes, just okay. press it and we'll be right in. Okay. But I'll be checking in with you in 15 minutes. Oh, okay, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> oh. Oh. Right, it, it does feel better. Oh, so okay. much. Oh, thank you for taking such good care of me. It's my pleasure. Oh. I will be back in 50. I'm reassured. Oh.